hey hey guys welcome back to my channel this is going to be a very different video for me i just wanted to show you guys a few of my favorite meals they are very quick and easy to make and absolutely delicious so first we start the avocado bagel i have two versions of these that we love to make at home almost daily you chop your avocado half a red onion mix it together get your fresh garlic in there and then put some more avocado in there if you feel like you're you have too much onion that's what happened to me here and then you just mash and swirl and mix everything together until you get the consistency you like Use some salt and pepper. And then you add a half a lime juice. This one didn't have a lot going for it, so I think I used the whole thing. But this is the consistency I like to have. And then you get your bagel of choice. You toast it. We love toasted bagels in this house. And then you just spread it. Oh my God, this is a little delicious. Just looking at it right now, it's making me hungry. But yeah, just put your avocado mixture on top of your toasted bagel, then add your fried egg. Bonus point if the yolk is still runny, that's my favorite part about it. And this is a very delicious, quick and easy lunch or dinner to make. Now this version is actually our favorite. You toast your bagel, keep the butter at room temperature and then just spread it on the bagel, it will melt. Put the slices of uh, avocado on top of the bagel salt and pepper we use the pink himalayan salt and then do half a lemon or lime juice on top of it that makes all the difference we did a fried egg on this one as well but to be honest we actually prefer without it just the uh, the bagel the melted butter the avocado salt pepper squeeze a lemon juice in there and it's perfect let me know down below if you guys tried this. Uh, leave me a comment how you liked it. This is, oh my God, look at that, delicious. Wow. Next up, we have the rice salmon ball. I used the air fryer for my salmon here, but you can also easily, easily use the oven. I just wanted to try the air fryer that we had. It was actually my first time. But yeah, you get your salmon cooked, then you literally ripped it apart to tiny little pieces, shredded however you like. This is how I do it. It's just easy for, easy for me to do it like this. And then I already have my sushi rice pre-made. I put this in containers and then in the fridge. This is the only meal I like to prep because it's so easy. The next day I just grab a bowl prepare my meal i start with the sushi rice and then layer it with the salmon avocado i usually also put mango in here but on this day i was out so salmon avocado and mango on top of the sushi rice this is my favorite bowl to make and then i finish it off with a lime squeeze it's healthy, it's delicious, it's so easy to make, and I could eat this every single day. I mean, look at it. Next, we have one of my absolute favorite salads ever, and it's so easy to make as well. You start with your red onion, a whole red onion, and you chop it to tiny little pieces. By the way, if you're wondering about that ball wet paper towel there, it helps me cutting the onions with that because it makes me cry less try it it works and then we move to the mangoes yes mangoes you get your mangoes you chop that as well to tiny little pieces i was just trying to be very aesthetic but yeah you mix that in your tupperware of choice so here i'm using two mangoes and four avocados which i'm also slicing into very tiny pieces and then just putting everything together in my Tupperware. So basically for this salad, you want to cut everything into tiny pieces. Uh, right here, I'm adding one yellow pepper and then I'll be adding one red pepper. Just cut everything as small as you want and add it to your Tupperware. Cut 
cut your cucumber, add it to the Tupperware and then squeeze half a lemon on top of everything. Keep the other half of the lemon for the dressing. I like to make my own. I just think it's better and fresher. I use about four cloves of garlic. I put it into this container because I'm gonna blend everything later. And then I squeeze the other half of the lemon right into the same container with the garlic. Then add some salt, again the pink Himalayan salt and pepper. I also add red vinegar and olive oil. And then I follow up with Dijon mustard, blend everything, and then give it a little taste. I needed some more olive oil here because it was just too vinegary, if that makes sense. I get my fresh parsley, cut it into very small pieces, and then put it on top of everything in the Tupperware. I mean, look at this. Look how delicious, fresh, and colorful it looks. Once you've done all of that, just pour your dressing into the Tupperware, give everything a very good mix, so you coat all the veggies, everything in there with the dressing. And we keep this in the fridge. It's something that we can snack on for the next few days. And it's the perfect salad for our house. I hope you guys like it. Give it a try and let me know.